Sharing a publication is the next big thing in Twixel. At this moment, it's not yet available, but there will be a public beta on their website in October. And the feature will be finally embedded in the public version of the Twixel app in November 2014. The great thing about sharing a publication the Twixel way is that the recipient does not have to create an account. As you know, in DPS, a client who is not really computer savvy has to create an Adobe ID. And sometimes you create this account for this person. And this person has an Adobe ID just for that. With Twixel, anybody can receive a publication that you send by email or by PDF, and this person just reads the publication on his or her tablet. Once your publication is ready to be shared, you just export it as a dot publication from InDesign. Then you drag and drop the publication file onto the Twixel Publisher app. You click on the Share button. This button appears on the third panel, the panel package. And then you fill the form with the recipient's and sender's emails and you click OK. After a few seconds, confirmation emails are sent to the sender and the recipient and the message appears and confirms that your file is submitted for sharing. The client on the other side, or the colleague, must have the Twixel Viewer app installed on a tablet. And the only thing the client has to do is to tap the link from the email on the tablet. And that's it, without creating a mandatory account. Let me show you how it works. I'm in InDesign. Here is my publication with a cover containing an HTML5 animation, a summary, map, another map, you see MSOs, again, int introduction chapter, venues, tables, and the description of a venue, and so on and so on. You see, it's quite a rich document. Here, on the Twixel Publisher panel in InDesign, you just click this button, Export Publication. It's pre-flighting the document, the whole publication, I should say. I just bypass the pre-flight message, and in my Publications folder, I just export the whole publication as a dot .publication file. Here is the confirmation message that the publication has been exported. It took in real time one minute. I have accelerated here the video. I just click yes and you see that here the publication is imported. What is the size of this publication? It's 58 megabytes. Okay, and now I just click this button share. My email, the email of the recipient, and a message, which is, of course, optional, and you click OK. And now, the Twixel Publisher app uploads the 53 megabytes of this publication. You may ask yourself, where is this file going? It's uploaded on a dedicated Twixel server for sharing for this feature. Hooray, your file is submitted for sharing. OK, and now I launch my email application. And here is the email. Visit Brussels, let's meet, send to document tester at Gmail. With the optional message, here is the new version 2.0. And now let's switch to the iPad to see what the recipient will receive in his email. Branislav Milic at gmail.com sent you Visit Brussels, let's meet. Here's the new version. Open with the Twixel viewer. You just tap the link, and once this web page appears, you just tap the button, open the Twixel viewer, and you see that now the Twixel viewer 
is open on the tablet, the publication is now downloaded and there it is. The fully featured Twixel publication has been sent to a client without creating an Adobe ID, without creating an account. And I must say that also the Twixel viewer is a much more stable application than the desktop viewer or the Adobe viewer on the tablets. Um, which is uh, famous for all the login problems and how slow it is and with caching problems and so on and so on. The sender of the publication will receive a new email confirming that the recipient has downloaded the publication. There is a message here that says that this publication will be deleted on 2nd of October 2014, that is in one week. It does not mean that it will be deleted from the a client's tablet, but it will be deleted from the Twixel server. On the tablet, the publication will always be available. You see it here in the upper left corner. Visit Brussels, 25 of September 2014, and the client has complete control of the content of the Twixel viewer on the tablet.